Best value for money airbrush on the market? I think so. Find out more right here on Gary's Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Now, today I'm talking about the Gallery GHAD39 airbrush, which I recently purchased. I think it's a revelation, and I'll be telling you why. I'll show you what you get inside the box for your money. I'll uh, show you some examples of me using it, things so how easy it is to use, and how you go about cleaning it, things like that. And then I'll be telling you how you can get it for a bargain price, no matter where you are. I'll tell you how to get it for a bit cheaper, and in the UK, a lot cheaper than you initially think online. Now, if you like this video, please remember, imperial thumbs up on the like button below, please, because every like counts. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and be notified of all my future videos as they are released, be they reviews or kit builds or whatever. And of course, if you want to give a bit more concrete support, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by going through any of my online partner programs. Now, let's make a start and have a look at what you get for your money with the Gallery GHAD39 airbrush. So this is the box it comes in. I think this looks quite smart. Apologies for the scratch. I did that when I was opening the box. Classic mistake. Box, knife, eh, scratch the thing. So that's my bad, that one. Um, but, you know, it's very, very nice looking box up here. It's the list of the different ranges they do. Classic, advanced, premium, ace and supreme. This is in from the advanced range. Presumably why it says AD after gallery AD 39. Uh, 0.35 and 0.5 millimeter um, needles, dual action, quarter ounce and half ounce pots. Um, I'm going to guess those are American fluid ounces, in which case that's about seven and a half and 15 milliliter pots. Um, self centering nozzle, we'll have a look at the, the amazing and the needle lock. Um, it says on the side here that this is for fine and medium airbrushing, which is pretty much most of the time what we're gonna need. Um, yeah, very nice looking shiny box. However, inside is another shiny box, this time cardboard with a stamped in metalized brand name. Very smart indeed. You know, bearing in mind how much we're paying for this, <laughs> it's very smart. On the inside of the box lid is a parts list so actually this is invaluable to someone like me saying oh yeah you know you, you put the um you know that thing on the end no we put the nozzle nozzle cap needle cap they give them names so i know what they're all called now so when i'm explaining things and it's wow you really know your airbrushes gary it's because i'm looking at this okay so that makes life easier as well if something's gone wrong you want to get in touch with them and say hey it's it's that bit that goes into the thing and and the thing there and there's a bit there and do you know what i mean okay no there's a needle guide under this i've done something to needle i lost my needle guide cool really nice this is the airbrush unit itself it comes with a little cap on the front which is nice and it comes with a quick release fitted but don't panic because if you don't have a quick release um, this will unscrew and you can just plug your regular airbrush hose direct onto that. All of these obviously are pretty standard fittings. Straight away you get a feel, I don't know, if, uh, not many people write with real pens these days, but it's got that feel of a proper real pen, a quality real pen. It's got a heft to it, it's, so it doesn't feel like made of really cheap materials or really thin materials. It's got a, a certain weight to it. But not one that's like overly heavy. Um, you can easily see, you know, quite easily work away with this for a while and it not be a burden on, on your hands. Um, it's pretty much otherwise pretty much like a normal airbrush, except it just feels nice. There's a, a stop at the adjustable stop here um, for the paint flow, so you can limit the paint flow if you're doing really fine work, really close work, you don't overdo it. And then 
you can obviously open it up all the way for large area spraying and whatever. Uh, access to the needle, you just undo the barrel and there it is. Um, as usual, uh, um, unscrew that and the needle comes out. Just pull that back for a minute because I really, really wanted to show you my favorite bit, which is the nozzle. Let me just zoom in a moment. Okay, so we're going to change, you know, we're thinking, right, we want to go to a 0.5 um, point, we want to assume some sort of wide area work or whatever, so maybe some priming, something like that, I don't know. So, yeah, we take off the, um, the front of the airbrush, and hey, nothing there to undo with some hexy thing with a spanner. It's here, it's right here, it just drops in. It's got these eight channels around the edges where the air goes. And it literally, when you want to change it, it just drops in. There's a, a, an O-ring on it to seal it. And it self-centers and you screw it in. And that's it. None of the getting the wrench out and you know over over tightening it and stripping it when, when you put the wrench in. That's it, done. So as I say, it comes pre-fitted with a 0.35 nozzle. And needle, this comes also with an optional 0.5 needle and nozzle. Obviously, you get the nozzle and the nozzle cover, nozzle guard with it as well. And again, it's just a drop in one. You can see it's just got these eight chambers around the side where the air drives through. Um, that would be so much easier when you take it out to deep clean that to get the uh, air chambers clean is going to be an absolute breeze. And it just drops in so you don't have to screw it in afterwards. Oh, that's, that's inspired. The other thing we get, which is really nice, and I do appreciate this, is I, I should maybe phrase that slightly differently. I like the fact that you get some lubricants for the uh, the valve system included. Um, on my old airbrush, I actually knackered this valve part because a, a, actually it wasn't my fault a part came off the spring and, and got jammed in the valve and scraped it and that ruined it but you know sometimes these can uh get feel a little tight especially if you clean them a lot there's there is some lubricant in there anyway it doesn't get into the airstream it's completely separate from the airstream but um th these can tighten up a bit so there's a, a lubricant when you do a deep clean you can lubricate that valve again keep it nice and fresh and responsive which is fantastic and as i say you also do get to spare o-ring seals these are for the back of the nozzle so they see properly if you're changing the nozzle a lot sometimes these seals may get a little bit um, overpressed and so you, you can replace them which is lovely brush comes with two fluid cups these screw into the top like so the sizes are a quarter ounce or seven milliliters and one half ounce or 15 milliliters there is a lid on each so you can angle the brush if you have a lot of paint or varnish loaded up really small amounts of paint you could just use a dropper to push paint straight into the back of the chamber this also gives you really good access when you're doing a deep clean. So yeah, it's um, you know you can spray areas quite well. Also, um, you can obviously go a lot closer for finer detail. It's okay. I think probably just over thinned this paint a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, I've got this um, like Jeep to um, put some pattern into. This is a uh, this is Russian Forbio green. I'm just putting some sand color on top, um, and I'm using about about one one bar pressure, about fourteen pounds pressure. Obviously, I don't want to put I don't want to put down too much in one go because um, it's going to orange peel otherwise. But it's going down well. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, it's a sort of a military camouflage -y sort of thing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, you know. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. Just remember, flush out the um, the cap here. And do put your finger over the end and give it a, some squirts of, to push the air back out. Don't let that water go back through because it's, it's got the rubbish you want to get rid of. And then give it another flush through with plain water. You can, of course, um, also use a bit of airbrush cleaner, if uh, especially if you're using some more darker paints, or if you've been using a, a thicker a thicker mix that uh, might be clogging up a little bit. But just... Keep it nice and clean. Always, every, after every colour, clean your brush. So, there you go. I think a great little airbrush. Um, if you want to make that step up from the absolute budget range, um, or if you just want to, you want to start, I think it's a good one to start with as well. And you don't need to go to the ultra professional things, which, let's face it, most of us don't then I think this is an absolutely amazing product. I think the, uh, the drop-in nozzle technology is fantastic. And at this price point, uh, I don't know of anyone else doing it. It actually makes it quite easy to clean. I think it works very well with acrylics. Um, obviously, it works very well with um, lacquers. But with acrylics, acrylics can be a problem. Acrylics are a massive problem to budget end airbrushes, let's be honest. Um, I think it works really well. Um, I should point out at this stage as well, I'm, right, I'm telling you how good it is. I paid for this. Uh, this is not paid promotion. I pay for my brush. They're not giving me any money to say, please tell everyone well, it was really good. This is an honest opinion. I want you to know that on my channel, I will always give you an honest opinion. And my honest opinion is this is a really good airbrush. Now, if you live in America, in the USA, um, you can get this on Amazon.com. The last time I looked was $46, $45.99. And I guess uh, there's going to be the local sales tax. Maybe there's going to be, uh, and delivery, unless you're a Prime member, of course, and you get it delivered free, um, which is great money. Now, when I saw this product first on the Amazon UK website, it was going like 85, 90 pounds, something like that. So it's not about that amount of money. For this. And it was two weeks delivery as well. It's crazy. So I checked it out on the Amazon.com website, the US website, and here's the thing. They'll charge you that $45.99. They will deliver from the USA to the UK. Shipping and handling was $9.02. They will charge you 20% tax because that's like um, the VAT that, that the product would be um, assessed at coming into the UK. So they put that on at source. So the whole thing is $66.01 it comes to. Okay. Now, when I did this on the uh, 1st of May, that equated to 
pounds sixty one, so just under fifty five pounds instead of almost ninety pounds. That's a bargain, right? I think that's the way to. And also, it's two week delivery anyway. It was two weeks delivery at ninety odd pounds. So clearly, they're not stocked in the UK. They're shipped from the US anyway. But if you use the Amazon shipping program, and when it comes to the UK, it then goes into a courier. Um, I think it's absolutely crazy not to do that. That's the way you buy it. Now, on top of that, I told the gallery people that I was going to be doing this video and that I liked their airbrush. And they said, well, here's the thing. Why don't you share this discount code with your viewers? So if you go to the information box below, click on the link there to the Amazon.com website, the US website. And use that discount code, you'll get extra discount on top of that $45.99 price. Okay. Now, if you do it as soon as you watch this video, it may not be in stock because I tell you, these things go in stock and then they go out of stock really quickly. However, Gallery tell me they're literally in the next day or two delivering to Amazon. So any day very, very soon is going to be back up online at the Amazon store. So do check them out. Check out your local price on your local Amazon as well. And then check out if you can get them delivered from Amazon.com in the US. I know you can in the UK because it's how I bought mine. OK, but if you're other countries like Europe and Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, India, South Africa, wherever you happen to view from, check out on your local Amazon what the price is and then check it out on the US store to see if you can then get it shipped from there because I, I promise you it's going to be cheaper there. And of course, if you go through that link in the information box below, you'll get an extra discount as well. Do check it out, really, seriously, I love this airbrush. I hope you will too. Now, if you've loved the show, and I hope you have, please do remember, imperial thumbs up on the like button below. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel hit that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos, be they reviews, kit uh, box openings or kit builds, anything at all. Just check it out what's online. And I hope to see you again very soon on the channel. Take very good care now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.